Hello. This tutorial briefly explains you about the power save mechanisms supported in 802.11 protocols. This presentation is prepared assuming that readers have basic knowledge of WLAN protocol and its operation. So let's start the tutorial. Do you know that 802.11 protocols support multiple methods of power saving mechanisms for wireless stations? From my experience, I can guess that most of you are not aware about all the types and the number of power safe mechanisms supported by 802.11 protocols. If that is true, then this tutorial is the right one and worth taking a look at the presentation. Here comes the summary of the presentation. This presentation includes association state machine, power safe mechanism matrix, and state machine of vari various power safe mechanisms. Before going in detail of the state machines of each power safe mechanisms, it's better that we have an understanding of terminology used in this presentation and some basic points that should be known, remembered for pro proper understanding of this tutorial. Please go through the slides 2 and 3 respectively for few seconds everyone might have a doubt in their minds why do we need such power safe methods on a wi-fi device here is one simple answer market demands of electronics device devices require mobility if mobility is mandatory there should be a solution to operate wi-fi radios only when it's necessary rather than keeping it active throughout the usage hence power safe algorithms are implemented in 802.11 protocol. This slide briefly describes basic association state machine of a wireless station with access point. This is the heart of, the, of a WLAN infrastructure. Transfer of data is only possible if this stage is successful. Here is the explanation of this slide. A station when power soft sends a broadcast probe request on all channels it is capable of operating. With respect to the probe request transmitted by station, APs respond with the probe response. Based on the best suitable AP, client tries to connect to that AP by transmitting an association request. If AP is positive about the client, then AP transmits an association response. In the association response, if the status is successful then on, then only further transmission between ap and client takes place finally here is the matrix of all power save mechanisms supported by 802.11 protocol versus type of stations from this slide it's clear that there are four types of power save algorithms that are being supported by 802.11 protocol and three different kind of stations that are available in the market. So categories of power safe alg algorithms are as fa follows. The first one is the legacy, second one is the APSD method, third one is the SM method and fourth one is the PSMP method. And the type of stations that are available in the market are non-QS stations, QS stations and HT stations. From the matrix, it is clear that each type of station can support any few of the available power safe methods. A tick mark indicates that a station can support those mechanisms but it is up to the vendor to decide which power safe mechanism is to be implemented in their device. So first let's go through the the legacy method power save me mechanisms in legacy method power save mechanisms there are two types of power save mechanism support one is ps pole method and other one is non ps pole method so first let's have a look at the ps pole power save method so in this scheme a station enters power save mode by sending a null frame to the ap with the power management bit set from then 
on the ap stores all packets destined to that station in a per station queue and sets the team field in the beacon frame beacon frame to indicate that packets destined for the station have been queued at the ap your station wakes up from sleep every listen interval to receive the beacon frame and when it detects that the team field for it has been set it sends a ps poll frame to the ap with management bit set uh, reset in response the ap sends the first queued frame to the station the station receives the queued data frame and if more data field in this frame is set it sends another ps poll frame to the ap the station continues to send ps poll frames to receive all the queued frames until none are left after receiving all the friends the station goes to go, goes back to sleep until the next listen interval so the second mechanism in legacy method is non ps poll power save mechanism so in this game what have in this so it is apparent that ps poll method is not a very efficient method of data transfer as polling is used and is suitable only for light traffic conditions an improvement over this method is to exit power save mode upon detecting queued frames by sending a null frame with power management bit turned off the ap the ap can then send all the queued frames to the station in one glimpse the station then reenter to power save mode by sending a null frame with power management bit turned on the station waits for a short period of time during which it has not received any frames from the ap to deduce that there are no outstanding queued frames for it at the ap so i hope you have understood the both mechanisms of uh, that are categorized under the legacy method and the rest of the methods will be presented in my second tutorial so for any queries on the power save mechanisms please mail me at shashank.thirdgamatla at gmail.com thank you